Welcome in. Time for The Law and You. We are so excited now to be joined with Michael Gig and Christopher Giancola of Gig and Giancola LLC. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us. Nice okay. to you're going to be seeing a lot of these guys. They're going to be on every Tuesday and Thursday taking your questions from the 814. So we wanted to get to know a little bit about you guys. Michael, your family has been practicing law in the area for how long now? Uh, this would be our 83rd year, actually. Uh, my grandfather started the practice in 1940. Uh, they were actually in the old uh, Central Trust Building in downtown Altoona. Uh, my father uh, joined him in 1971. Uh, he was there another 11 years with him, and then we moved to our current location on uh, 401 North Logan Boulevard. Uh, the year I was born, actually, 1982, so we've been there ever since. Wow, and there's your dad. That's my dad. And then your grandfather. That's a fairly old picture of my grandfather, yes. <laughs> the bow tie. Maybe you'll have to bring one out for one of these segments. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not too sure if that will happen. but. And you are from Holidaysburg. I'm originally from Holidaysburg, yes. Very nice. And where did you practice law? I went to Capital University Law School. It's in uh, the city of Columbus, Ohio. Okay, and Chris, you're also from Holidaysburg. That, that is correct, yeah, yes. Tell us a little bit about you. All right, I'm uh, Chris Giancola. I have been practicing since 2004. Started off being Judge Capriva's law clerk, um, who was the president judge of the area. Then I went to the DA's office, worked there for about a year and a half. I was the child abuse prosecutor. Then I went into private practice because I had to pay off some student loans. Mm -hmm. And I have been working at uh, gig law offices that just became Gig and Jan Cola since 2011. Oh my goodness, there's your office. <laughs> Morgan and I got to visit. It's very nice, very welcoming. And the outside there, so you've had that building for how long now, Michael? Since uh, 1982 we've been there. Wow, so many memories. You kind of yes. grew up. I grew up right office. there, yes. I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I would say I was licking envelopes for my dad when I was probably, you know, seven, eight years old in that same conference room. So yeah, it's been, it's been a while. That's so wonderful. So it, what we're excited about is that viewers are going to have the ability to ask you guys some questions and you're going to give your, your best answers. What type of law or questions can the people ask? Well, um, we are a general practice firm, so really any sort of questions can be asked of us, but I mostly focus on personal injury, workers' compensation, and social security disability. Okay, and then Mike? I mainly do a lot of estate planning. Uh, we, do, we handle a lot of estates, uh, real estate, uh, general civil litigation, uh, things like that. That's actually what's so great is you guys both bring your expertise on all these levels. So. We got a really good question for today. This is from a viewer. Uh, it says, my family was hurt in a car accident. Can a local attorney handle the case or should I go with one of the guys that always advertises on TV? So who's gonna field that? I'll let Chris uh, field that question. <laughs> okay, Thanks. Chris. I get this question actually all the time. Um, I have been practicing law for 18 plus years and I give a personal touch to this you will not be dealing with um, just assistance and things along those lines. I have handled cases that are multi-million dollar cases where unfortunately somebody has passed away mm. and I have handled cases that are worth only a couple thousand dollars. But each one of those cases I treat with the respect that it's due and I also make sure that I bring my expertise actually at my old firm, I worked for the insurance companies. So I know the way that the insurance companies thinks and I defended those insurance companies in regards to cases. Oh, so that kind of gives you an edge. Yes, yes, because <laughs> I've been on both sides. I've been on both sides of the law whenever it comes to personal injury. Yeah, I think that is actually what is kind of important and why I love that you guys are here in this studio. Even though everybody drives past your office, it's realizing, oh, you guys, are local and you know what you're talking about very smart and you're human too so you want them to be you know handled with care right correct absolutely <laughs> and i think that's what differentiates us from maybe some of these bigger firms is that we do have that personal touch if you need to come in and meet with us uh, you meet with us in person mm -hmm. also emails People email me all the way and I try to get back to them as quickly as humanly possible and you won't get that touch a lot of times with some of these bigger firms. I love it. So that was our very first question and we love sitting down with you, Mike and Chris. Uh, Michael, if people are interested in reaching out to Gig and Gincola, how do they do it? 
Sure, they can either, either call our office. I think our number might be on the screen. It's 814-946-1606, or they can email us. Uh, our, our email is on our website. Yeah, personal injury, car accidents, workers' compensation, a little bit of everything, and they can head over to your website. And, of course, get in touch with your wonderful office. You guys are just great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah, and we also do have an email. We want people to be sending in their questions. They can just go to law and you at WTAJTV.com. If you have a question for Mike or Chris, they're going to be here every Tuesday and Thursday answering your questions that are so important to you. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thank for you. Happy Thank Thursday. You. We'll be back after a quick break.